This is a mistake. Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, welcome to Everyday Nerd, the B-Sides edition. I'm your host, Zack Snyder. And on the B-Sides, we take a look at some of the new and trending topics and shorter, unsponsored episodes. Hey guys, did you know that we're watching every single Best Picture nominee this year? That includes the ones that don't deserve it. Next up on our list is A Star Is Born, directed by Bradley Cooper and starring Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. That's right, Lady Gaga is now an actress. Can I ask you a personal question? Okay. Tell me something, girl. A Star Is Born is a remake of a remake of a remake, and I honestly don't understand why it's nominated for Best Picture. Overall, it's an all right film, but I'm not gonna lie and say that I wasn't bored throughout most of it. The film follows Lady Gaga as she falls in love with a rock star and finds her way into becoming a successful pop star. The entire focus is how she didn't want to sacrifice her talents and originality by becoming a pop star, and yet she sacrifices her talents and her originality by becoming a pop star. Also, spoiler here for anybody that cares, the other focus of the film is on the relationship between Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga, how it's kind of sweet at the beginning and then by the end, the dude dies, he, he kills himself from ODing and alcohol poisoning, because that's what he does throughout the entire film, is drink and do drugs. And she just sits there enabling him. Maybe this just isn't the movie for me, it's quite possible, but the entire time I was just wondering, when is this movie going to be over? Its overarching themes are both tired and predictable, there's no special filmmaking things like the cinematography or the editing or anything like that that kept me invested. By the way, why does this have an Oscar nomination for cinematography? There was literally nothing special here. They made it look like it was a rock concert during some scenes, okay? I'm sure Bohemian Rhapsody has the same thing. The acting was well done. I did like the chemistry between Gaga and Cooper. This is also a musical though, which I like musicals. I really do like musicals but I really didn't care for any of the music in this film. And I'm a pretty open-minded person when it comes to music. It wasn't that this music was bad, it was just that it did not interest me enough to watch a two-hour movie with like 10 songs scattered throughout it. Again, maybe I'm missing something, maybe this isn't a movie for me, maybe I should have seen it in theaters or with a different group of friends that weren't laughing at it throughout most of it. I don't know, I just know that I have no intentions on re-watching it and honestly, there's nothing else I could say about it. It doesn't deserve best picture. That's for sure. But anyways, that's all the time we have for today. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If for whatever reason you didn't like it, you can hit that dislike button. Let me know down in the comments, what are your thoughts on A Star Is Born? Did you like it? Did you love it? Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I need to rewatch it, but I don't wanna. So, so I don't know. Go ahead and subscribe for more Your Everyday Nerd, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.